Hey guys, Revision's coming back to you with a gameplay slash commentary video, and I'm going to be talking about today the upcoming Call of Duty North American Regionals 2015 tournament. In the background is a 40 kill hardpoint gameplay just for you all to watch while I talk about what I think is going to happen this year. The tournament format is a 32 team bracket, double elimination, and it's going to decide the 14 teams that go to Call of Duty Championship. I'm not very sure how they're going to decide the 14 teams that do go to Call of Duty Championship, but they have a weird way and it's going to be very interesting to see how they do it. I'm only going to be giving my predictions on the winner's bracket just because loser's bracket can get very fluky and I feel like I can predict who's going to come out of loser's bracket. Now I'm going to start talking about the 32 teams that did make it into the tournament starting off with the Canadian and Mexican teams. Brill Esports, Exertus Esports, Legacy Esports, Levitate Gaming, Omega Fatal, and Gravity. Then the two teams from Mexico, Asset Gaming, and Team MFAM. Now, with these teams, I just feel like it's going to be very tough for them to make it to a Call of Duty Championship just because usually teams that are outside the U.S. playing U.S. teams usually do get beat in by a very large amount. Not trying to be mean to any other people from any other countries, but American teams just are stronger than any other team in the world. These teams are going to have to get really lucky or either play their minds out and play to a different level than they're used to playing to beat these American teams to qualify. Now, one or two of these teams might slide into the 14 teams that make it, but in my opinion, it's going to be very hard and not realistic at all. Now, the 24 teams from the United States are Automatic Reload, Denial Esports, Phase Black, Phase Red, Fear, Optic Gaming, Optic Nation, Orbit, Prophecy, Rise, Strictly Business, Stunner, Envious, Team Caliber, Team Revenge, Threes Up Enterprises, which I've never heard of them, Below Zero, Bittersweet, Echo Gaming, Gurus, Isolation Empire, Relapse Esports, and Vex Gaming. Now, out of those 24 United States teams that I just said, I feel like all 24 of them could beat mostly anybody from around the world except a couple EU teams, just because of how good they are. And it's kind of selfish to say that only 14 of those teams are going to make it when you could say that the other 10 could beat the people that are going to go to Call of Duty Championship from, let's say, maybe either Brazil or the Asia Pacific region. So I do hope they change that rule later on and allow more American teams to go to Call of Duty Championship. Not that I have anything against any other foreign teams, but it is proven the American teams just are better. Now, that's just a topic for a later video, so let's get on to the bracket. Okay, so I'm going to name out the teams that are going to make it to the round two based on the bracket. Optic Gaming, XGN, Strictly Business, Team Caliber, Team Envy, Team Orbit, Automatic Reload and Prophecy. On the other side of the bracket, Denial, Team Revenge, Rise Nation, Phase Black, Stunner Gaming, Optic Nation, Exertus Esports, and Phase Red. Now, for the second round, you're going to have Optic Gaming play XGN, SB play Team Caliber, Team Envy play Orbit, Automatic Reload versus Prophecy, Denial versus Team Revenge, Rise Nation versus Phase Black, Stunner Gaming versus Optic Nation, and Exertus versus Phase Red. Now, I feel like Optic Gaming is going to beat XGN pretty easily. Team Caliber is going to beat SB just because Team Caliber, the way they've been playing, I would say at Season 1, that was up to a level that nobody really expected. Took Optic to round 11, they lost 5-6. So just that little pity push, they would have beat Optic. I feel like Optic still would have came back through loser's bracket, but still, they did very well against Optic, and they just proved a point to everybody, like, we're still a really good team. Envy versus Orbit, Envy's going to come through with that one easily, I feel. And AR versus Prophecy. I feel like if you just look at who Prophecy has on their team, Ricky, Mochilla, Classic, and Embo, they can easily come up through this win, but AR kids just come up with the upset, and I just feel like this is one of the upsets that could happen in round two. Now, with the bottom side of the bracket, Denial versus Team Revenge, Denial can come through with that. Rise Nation versus Phase Black, Phase Black, just their slaying power is just gonna beat Rise Nation by itself. Optic Nation versus Stunner. Optic Nation has five total COD Championship rings on their team. They should go far in this tournament, just because. Phase Red versus Exertus. I feel like Phase Red's gonna keep Calm and Collective in the booth and beat Exertus a 3-1. Now, an Optic Gaming versus TK rematch. I think Gaming is going to prove to TK that you got close at Season 1, but that's not going to happen again. So they're probably going to either 3-1 or 3-2 TK. If it's a 3-2, they're going to win Game 5 around a 6-1 or a 6-2, I feel. Envy versus Prophecy. I feel like Envy's going to beat Prophecy just because Prophecy really can't hang with Envy. Denial versus Phase Black. 
Then now is going to win that 3 2. It's going to be a very close 3 2. I think Asian versus Days Red. Karma and TP are going to just go have games of their lives just to prove to eggs we were better than you. Now you're going to have Optic Gaming versus Envy in the fourth round. Optic Gaming is going to win that 3 2. Denial versus Optic Nation. Denial is going to win that 3 2. Then Optic Gaming versus Denial. Optic Gaming is going to win that 3 1. Then Optic Gaming is going to play Optic Nation in the finals. And they're going to win 3 2 versus Optic Nation. Like and comment your thoughts. Goodbye, guys.